स्टूडेंट्स हाई एम डॉक्टर सोनाली चंद्रा एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिसिन डी कोडेड नाउ इन दिस स्मॉल वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अबस्टेट्रिक एग्जामिनेशन नाउ बिफोर यू एग्जामिन अ पेशेंट मेक श्योर दैट यू एक्सप्लेन टू द पेशेंट वट यू आर गोइंग टू डू और राइट सो टेक ए वर्बल कंसेंट एंड एट द सेम टाइम यू नो मेक द पेशेंट लाइ डाउन फॉर एग्जामिनेशन आफ्टर शी पास इज यूरिन right so ask her to empty the bladder because you see full bladder will interfere with your interpretation of the fundal height or the size of the uterus because uh, if the bladder is full it pushes the uterus upwards then you might get a falsely a high a falsely high estimation of fundal height now make the patient feel comfortable be comfortable while she is being examined and also yes while you are positioning the patient keep in mind that you are going to examine the patient standing on the right side of the patient and the abdomen is exposed fully right from the pubic symphysis to the zutvi sternum this entire area and the rest of the area should be properly covered you know and uh, patient is in the dorsal supine position like this right so the patient's head is on this side feet are on this side i'm standing to the right side of the patient okay and the hips and the knees are slightly flexed here and the knees are wide apart uh, that allows for the relaxation of the abdominal muscle now also keep in mind that sometimes the uterus may be tilted towards one side or the other side okay so most of the times it is tilted towards the right side like this dextro rotated so before you start palpating for the fundal height assessment make sure that you correct this tilt you correct the dextro rotation and standing on the right side of the patient you can you know tilt the uterus like this stabilize it like this and then go on to estimate the fundal height so keep this in mind here one more important point before palpation centralize the uterus now in this video the patient that i'm performing the obstetric examination on is a term patient so let us begin the patient is in dorsal supine position with knees and hips flexed and knees wide apart so describing the inspection findings this is the pubic symphysis and look at the ovoid bulge seems the fetus is longitudinally aligned and uh, you can see the umbilicus is central and uh, everted and uh, you can see these uh, stria gravidarum which are the stretch marks and uh, you can also see this uh, deep line of pigmentation you see extending from the umbilicus to the pubic symphysis and this is called as the linea nigra and these are the stria gravidarum and you can see that the overlying skin is healthy there is uh, no scar mark of any kind indicative of any previous surgery now for palpation from symphysis pubis to umbilicus we divide into two equal parts if fundus is here midway between the umbilicus and pubic symphysis fundal height is 16 weeks if the fundus is at umbilicus then the fundal height is 24 weeks now this is if you turn up from the fifth sternum to umbilicus we divide into three equal parts till here it is 28 weeks till here 32 weeks and all the way up to the fifth sternum it's 36 weeks now to see the fundal height we start palpating from the zifi sternum using the ulnar border of our hand and see where we feel the fundus so this is 32 weeks but the patient is term why so because the flanks are full bulk of the baby is in the flanks when the head goes down to the pelvis flanks are occupied by the baby's body so this is 32 weeks with flanks full so this is a term size uterus and now let us mark the fundal height by using a pen so now to measure the symphyso fundal height in centimeters we will have to ask the woman to straighten her legs first so let's ask her to straighten the legs and we take the inch tape here now the centimeter side should be away from our vision and the inches side should be facing you so this is the pubic symphysis pubis here and i place the inch tape here and then take it up to the mark which i had put right so the inches is towards me and i turn it over this is 32 this is 32 centimeters 
सो थर्टी टू सेंटीमीटर्स इज आर सिम्फाइसो फंडल हाइट इन सेंटीमीटर्स एंड विथ फ्लैंक्स फुल ओके लेट्स सीट अगेन मेजरिंग द सिम्फाइसो फंडल हाइट सी द सेंटीमीटर्स साइड इज अवे फ्रॉम योर विजन दिस इज थर्टी टू सेंटीमीटर्स सिम्फाइसो फंडल हाइट विथ फ्लैंक्स फुल सो दिस इज अ टर्म साइज यूट्रस नाउ वी हैव टू डू द ल्यूपॉल्स मनूवर्स द ऑब्सटेट्रिक ग्रिप्स for that you have to ask the woman to flex her knees and hips again with the knees wide apart and that relaxes the abdominal muscles now the first three grips are done facing the patient so checking the fundal grip now i am am palpating broad soft part like the buttocks and then for the lateral grips you stabilize with one hand on one side and then do the grip on the other side like i am here palpating the right side of the mother so this is the right lateral grip you look more closely here i am uh, uh, feeling a uh, knobby parts on the right side of the mother suggestive of fetal limbs and on the left side i'm feeling a curved part which is uh, suggestive of the fetal back side now for the third grip that is the poly grip we use one hand we use one hand to grasp the presenting part now if the head is free it is blottable but here the head is not free now for the fourth grip which is the pelvic grip right we face the patient's legs okay and we take the two hands and try to dig here you know below the presenting part we try to go beneath the presenting part with both our hands parallel to the inguinal ligament as you can see okay but my two hands are not converging below the presenting part right that means that the head has gone deep into the pelvis okay that means that the head is most likely engaged now let us palpate the contractions okay now for that you have to place one hand on the woman's fundus here and then feel feel the uterus so like here the uterus is relaxed because i am able to indent the uterine wall with gentle pressure by my fingers here but when the uterus is contracted and there's hardening of the uterus this indentation of the wall of the uterus will not be possible okay and the woman will complain of pain so what did we see here are the buttocks head is here back is here on left side limbs here on right side so longitudinal lie cephalic presentation back on the left side so occiput is also on the left side so this is left occipito position it could be transverse or anterior left occipito transfer or left occipito anterior we don't know as of right now and the confirmation of loa or lot or for that matter occipito posterior position will eventually be done by the pv examination but the position of the fetal heart sound where the fetal heart sound is heard with maximum intensity will give us a very good idea about the position in occipito anterior position fetal heart rate is best heard anteriorly in occipito posterior position fetal heart rate is best heard at the flanks should i auscultate here no i will auscultate here because fetal heart sounds are best heard transmitted from the fetal back side so in this case on the left side so where exactly should we auscultate now this is the umbilicus and this is the anterior superior ilex spine now between these two points let us imagine a spino umbilical line and midpoint here of this line here is where one should auscultate for the fetal heart sound so let me auscultate here now as the head goes down into the pelvis you see the fetal heart rate also moves towards the midline and downwards now i can hear it here best this means the head has gone down deep into the pelvis and it is loa position left occipito anterior now let us hear with doppler and auscultate for full 1 minute
remember as the head goes down deep into the pelvis the fetal heart rate moves more towards the center and downwards so at the end of this examination we can conclude that this is a term sized relaxed uterus with cephalic presentation in loa position left occipito anterior position